what's the connection between fire cooking and the eating of meat? Do you th which came first, do you think? Uh, humans starting to enjoy the eating of meat or the, uh, the, the invention of fire and the use of fire for cooking? I think that fire increased the using of meat. But, um, but the fact that chimpanzees uh, really like to hunt and kill meat, uh, as do bonobos, uh, certainly puts us in. So they, they, those two species have a common ancestor with us, going mm -hmm. six, seven million years ago, and it was from that common ancestor that you get the Australopithecine line. Mm -hmm. It's very likely, therefore, Australopithecines were eating meat when they could get it, mm -hmm. which wouldn't be very often because they wouldn't be very good sprinters. But nevertheless, they would occasionally be able to get some meat, and uh, I bet they loved it all the time. And basically, all primates like meat if they can get it, almost all of them. But I think fire would have been very important um, for uh, a couple of reasons. Uh, one is that once you eat fire, once you eat your food cooked, then you're saving yourself time. Mm -hmm. By saving yourself time, you can free up uh, the opportunity to go and hunt more, because hunting is a high risk, high gain activity. Uh, there's every risk that you will get nothing on one particular afternoon that you go off looking for opportunities to kill. Mm -hmm. But it's high gain because when you do get something, you bring down a kudu, then you've got a serious amount of meat. What did males and females do with the time they were saving from not having to chew their food? I think that in the case of males, it's very reasonable to think they spent a greatly increased amount of time hunting. Mm -hmm. So chimpanzees, they hunt maybe two or three times a month, and the average hunt length is 20 minutes. With humans, they're uh, hunting maybe uh, 20 times a month, and the average hunt length is six hours. Yeah, so wow. it's, it's a huge difference. Yeah. So, And that's possible because the time was available, because they, they were cooking. Less chewing, more hunting. You got it. <laughs> the other thing is that the meat is so much nicer. Yeah. You know, so when a chimpanzee kills a monkey, and I mean, they are so excited about killing a monkey. You know, I mean, they are so excited about going into the hunt. And uh, when they make the kill, then there's screams everywhere. And uh, some try to seize it and capture it and take it away from the others. And eventually the strongest one has it. And uh, the others sit around begging and trying to get some and tear it off. And so you know, they all love it. Mm -hmm. There are others who he often goes to the top of a tree in order to be able to get away from all of these beggars and scavengers. Mm -hmm. And uh, while he's there, he, uh, drops of blood or little scraps will fall down to the bottom. And uh, the junior members of society, you know, the females and young and that sort of thing, um, they, they are racing through to find a particular leaf that's got a drop of blood on it so they can lick it. I mean, mm -hmm. they love it. <laughs> but... yes. It takes them a lot of time to chew it. I mean, it's it's the same thing as for cooked food in general. So um, they are getting meat very slowly into their bodies. And there sometimes comes a time when they just say, I've had enough of this. I need real food. And they'll drop the meat and go off and, and eat fruit again because they can get fruit into their bodies so much faster than they can get meat. Um, so once they're cooking, that problem is solved, and they can eat the meat so it's just much more readily. So I think that meat eating would become important for two reasons with cooking. So the key, uh, not to oversimplify, but the key moments in human history are with the Homo erectus, the discovery of fire and the use of fire for cooking, and then with uh, Homo sapiens, the the beta males, killing off the alpha males so that the cooperation can exist. And cooperation leads to communication and language and ideas, the sharing of ideas, that kind of thing. Well, yes, the, the only thing I would modify on that is that you have to ask, uh, how is it that the beta males were able to kill the alpha male? Right. And we now know that although chimpanzees do kill males within their own group sometimes, it's not a process of killing the alpha male. It's taking advantage of opportunity when some male gets into a bad position, but it's not a systematic ability to kill the alpha male. Mm -hmm. And you can see, see, see why, you know, because they don't have language. 
And without language, it's very difficult to know how confident you can be of the support of others against a particular individual within your own group. Yes. When you're attacking someone from another group, that problem is solved. You know, we all hate the, yes. you know, those guys. But the alpha male has got alliances within his group. Some of those allies might be willing to, to turn against him. Some of them might be harboring deep feelings of resentment. <laughs> yeah. But how does anyone else know that? So in other words, I think that you have to have some kind of language that is pretty good to solve the problems of gaining confidence that five of you say, you know, or some, some number um, can trust each other in this final attack. And, you know, even nowadays, it's, it's difficult. Uh, you know, yeah, when I mean, you mentioned Stalin, it's like, why was everybody terrified? Any dictator that takes control, why is all of us as individuals terrified when you know there's millions of us? Uh, That's yeah. right. And so like that, we lack the language because our basic psychology of fear overtakes us. Like, who can we talk to? Who can we talk to and not get killed ourselves? Th exactly. That's right. But you're, yeah. do you have this intuition that some kind of language was developing along with this process of beta males taking over. Yes, yes. I mean, the, once you have sufficient language to be able to have the beta males conspiring to kill the alpha male, uh, then you have selection uh, in favor of uh, cooperation and tolerance, as we spoke yeah. about. And at that point, there will be uh, increased ability to communicate and the language will get richer and, and better and better. So yes, absolutely, positive feedback loop once you get the, the situation started.